Hey friends, Pastor Buddy Chapman from Keep the Promise Ministries on the Monday message. Hope everybody's kicking it off today, having a great day, starting for a great week. A lot of things uh, to participate in this week. Don't want to forget to go out and vote tomorrow and uh, you know pray about it and then do what God asks you to do. Uh, and I'm excited about having that privilege as well. But I want to jump in tonight and talk about this uh, this gift that we all have. And, and I call it time, the irreplaceable gift. And I want to read uh, a little bit of scripture out of James 414. So let me check that out and I'll share it with you here right now. It says, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the, your life is like the morning fog. It's here for a little while and then it's gone. It just talks about how fast our life is. It's just a vapor. But when I was reading through my study Bible, I really like what they put in here at the bottom in the breakout. I want to share that. It says, look at this. It says, life is short no matter how many years we live. Don't be deceived into thinking that you have not, uh, you have lots of time remaining to live for Christ, to enjoy your loved ones, or to do what you want to do. Live for God today, then no matter when your life ends, you have fulfilled God's plan for your life. Man, that's a good word. But so often, you know, tonight, I want to tell you how this message really started tonight. I was really busy today. And, you know, many people are busy. And that's just the way our life is now. It's always something. You know, I came home from work and I had to meet somebody at the house to do some inspections on a house. I had to go to the bank. I had to do, you know, life. That's what I'm saying. Life just kicking in. And the next thing you know, man, it's time to eat. I got to go to mom's house. Life, right? So I stopped by the store and there's more people in line and I'm waiting. I'm like, man, I really need to go. I'm running out of time. And that's what clicked in my mind that, you know what? We get anxious and stuff and we're, we're going, 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 rushing through life. But at the same time, the flip side of that is sometimes do we really realize about the gift of time? So there's three things I want to hit tonight that the Lord showed me while I was just kind of rushing through life today and, and trying to get everything done. And one that I start out here, that we need to embrace the moment. You know, just like we were reading a minute ago, our life is just like a vapor. It's just like the fog, man. It's here and then it's gone. But in those minutes and in those days and in those blessings of that irreplaceable gift of, of, of time in our life, how are we utilizing them? How are we living them? Are we really embracing the moment? You know, a lot of times I talk to guys, they think, man, when I get to this point in my life, I'm really going to start living. And once I get my degree, I'm really going to do this. And once I lose this 10 pounds again, I'm going to really be doing this. We always seem to be waiting to live. So I'm going to say tonight is with the gift of God, the gift of life, of time that God gives us, man, live it today. Live it today. I don't mean be reckless, but live it with a purpose. That's the second thing. First thing, embrace the moment. Then live with a purpose. You know, I was talking to a guy today, and he came by and did some work on my house, and I was just sharing different things. And, and like I normally do, somehow we bring it around to, hey, what's God's doing? what is God doing in your life? And, and so I asked this guy, he asked me about, oh, you play some music and stuff? I said, yeah, man, I play a little music, you know, play at church and things like that. And it gives me the great lead in to say, so what, God, what is God doing in your life? And he said, man, I've never been a really religious guy. I'm kind of just living for me. I didn't get mad. I didn't start preaching. I just started loving him where he's at. I said, really, tell me about that. And he just, he just started talking about, you know, how it was about him and he was going to do what he wanted to do and all these things. And, and what happened was it really laid heavy on my heart. And I had a, a few windows to share a few things. And I said, well, why do you think like that? And he shared what he said here and he shared that. And, and I got to pull back the veil of the Bible a little bit and speak into his life and just to give him a few things to think about. You know, about eternity. What do you think happens when you leave here? You know, what are you trying to accomplish while you're here? And so that really stirred my heart because he's not the only one that thinks like that. Hey, many times in my life, uh, you know, I thought all different types of things until, you know, the grace of God just really overtook me and really, really showed me, man, I need a Savior and his name is Jesus. So, you know, what purpose are we living for? And that rolls into my third point. I want you to see, make the choices that you make with eternity in mind. Think about that. Are you making the choices that you make each day, each minute? with eternity in mind. You say, well, what do you mean by that, buddy? Are we living out the way God would want us to live things out? You know, I often think about this, and many of y'all have heard this when people are sharing and stuff. You know, if you're a believer and you're wrong, you know, you're not out nothing. But if you live this life and you don't believe, and I'm right, and Christians are right, man, it's going to be hell to pay. 
So why not take a time to investigate God's word? Take time to pray and seek the Lord because God will reveal himself when we earnestly seek him. God will show himself. He's not hiding from us. He wants to reveal himself to us. So embrace the moment, man. Embrace the moment. I think about that a lot. How am I living my life today that will impact impact eternity, you know? You know, a lot of times I, I think about when I'm playing music and doing CDs and even doing these videos. And those that know me understand what I'm getting ready to say. Man, I'm going to tell you what, this is not about me. It's not about anything else other than my life and your life being used to help somebody else to grow closer to the Lord Jesus Christ, man. Every every time I think about uh, the choices we make about sharing our faith, man, it has the ability to impact somebody's life for eternity. And I want to tell you what, I want it to impact their life where they know that they come when they come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, that they are secure with a home in heaven. But you know what, friends? Think about this as we go through life. Are we really living a life that models that of Christ? Hey, look, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we do everything right. Lord knows I, I got a mirror, okay? But I tell you what, God's grace is so amazing. And, and what he blesses us with is, is fresh starts each day. When we turn from our sin and turn back to God, man, that is a refreshing restoration. And God wants to continue to use your life. No matter how far you stepped away, no matter what you've been through, realize that God can and will work in your life so that he can work through your life. So today I pray that, you know, you listen to this message with eternity in mind. And so think about this. Your life is just the vapor choose Jesus. I hope you guys are encouraged with the message today. We know time is going by. Crazy things going on in the world, man. Pray for folks that just have been just overwhelmed with, with, with the evil that is in this world. But you know what? Be of good cheer because you know what? We are overcomers in Christ. I hope you guys are encouraged in the message. I always ask you guys, man, please share the message. Maybe there's somebody that's going to hear this sometime, whether it's today, two weeks from now, that will be a, it'll be a blessing to them and that they can gain an eternal perspective of knowing Jesus Christ. You guys have a great night. We love you. We'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to vote. God loves you. Bye-bye.